Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution! Brought to you by GhostBed.com! Yeah, JBs. JBs. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that was a really good impression of someone that you were doing. Was it? Oh, oh, oh. They're just like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You people know, love that. what a bitch. She's just like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. People love, love it when you do that. I hate when people are just all, oh, oh. And you're like, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, welcome to the uh, Jesse Wiseman revolution today. She's famous. She's oh, famous. that's right. You're I fucking forgot. famous, dude. I forgot. Yeah. It's just to Is me. Is that weird? To me, it just seems so natural now because it's been like a couple days. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> and um, so <laughs> now I'm used to it. It happens so quickly, you guys. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I just want everyone to like stay home and stay safe. <laughs> and I want you to know that we're in this together. But we're not. If you if you don't know what we're talking about, Jesse and Tiffany, her co-host on Drinking Broettes podcast, made a, a video of them drinking wine out of each other's mouths. What would you call that exactly? Oh my God, that's not it at all, dude. You had the glass so in I'm your mouth. So I'm sitting in front of her. Mm -hmm. I've got the glass in my teeth. Yes. And I have to dip. We have to dip back gracefully and in sync enough that when I. The glass goes above my head. She can take a drink of it. Yes. It's harder than you think. <clears throat> and it's shown <laughs> in all these other people that are doing it. Because it, wa it was a TikTok thing, I guess. But wasn't that big when we did it. Whitney Cummings just did it with this huge guy. Yeah. Um, And it did not work. No. Wine was everywhere. No. Barstool Sports posted one that was like yeah, yeah. wine everywhere. It's very hard. You are now up to 13 million views on Facebook. Oh my gosh, our producer is even like you didn't know surprised. That? I, I, thought, I thought I was at 4 million last I checked. 13 you, yeah. million views. Jesse's got to the point where someone pulled over in the neighborhood and was just like, yeah. "You're the wine girl." Okay, so someone, <laughs> I don't know if she listens, but um LS, the girl in our I'll just say her initials, but she's sure. a girl in our neighborhood, mm -hmm. a mom. You know, we all like put on our our covers at the bus stop. We all like, you know, we're we're moms. We don't like curse and drink like in front of everybody. So you don't exactly know like what somebody's like really about because yeah. you only kind of see them with their kids. Of course. And so she pulled up. I was in my driveway doing something. She pulled up and was like, Jesse, what the fucking shit? <laughs> and I was like, whoa. And she's like, you're fucking famous. And I was like girl yeah Je you know Jesse. we're cool we're cool i'm gonna drop some stats on you for the audience here because i was i was talking about the nfl draft last week highest rated draft in the history of the nfl for the first round by like fucking 40 is that true yeah. why is that you're, you're joking right because nobody had anyone <laughs> there's, no, there's been no oh, sports okay, okay okay no i just thought been no sports i thought man, there was like some months. weird thing that they were doing then. no no it was, it was actually real shitty watching mm, uh, mm. people accept their phone calls in their living rooms. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But that's how desperate America was for sports, that it was the highest rated draft of all time by 40 I mean, it was up 40%, which is crazy. Right. 12. That had 12.7 million viewers. Your wine video is up to 13.2 million right now mm -hmm. on Facebook. So you more people watch you drink wine with your buddy then watch the NFL draft in the United States of America, the first round. The first round of the NFL draft. I should I should clarify that. Yeah, yeah, it's the first round. Yeah. It's not like we beat like they got, second day, like Yeah, well, well, total I know the draft total for three days got fifty five million viewers across all platforms. We'll but, get it. It's uh, being shared. <laughs> so it's being shared more and more. It just keeps going. We get uh, I think we just got requests from these like viral sites that have like millions of viewers that want to put it on and give credit. Uh, we're getting wine delivered to us from this winery in Pennsylvania. Free wine? Yeah. Look at you. It's like a real deal. Like, you made it. You don't have um, to, we don't have to work anymore, right? No, no, no. Yeah, you it's make kind of the like. Deal. Yeah, the weird thing about like 
having a bunch of views <laughs> on Facebook and stuff is like your soup's rich instantly. Um, <laughs> the also weird thing about because I'm not really on Facebook that much. I'm not in this world, right? Yeah. So it was more like Tiffany made it. Tiffany put it up. But the sh the page that it's getting shared from. Yeah. Is this weird random guy named Glenn Campbell that An has like man. no followers, but just like reposted it, and that's where it got shared from? Yeah, so he has he has like four hundred friends, tops maybe, and he's maybe a sixty five year old vet. He's never really realized how that works. Vet, he's a vet. Like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. A, like a veterinarian um, from Arizona. Or, yeah, or not like a veteran. Not, yeah, not yeah. a not a veteran. He looks he looks seems like tabs. a sweet, nice guy. Tiffany reached out to him, was yep. like, "Hey, buddy." We see that you're getting like a bunch of views randomly shares from your page. Do you mind tagging yeah. Drinking Broettes podcast and Tiffany at the top or whatever? And he's like, yeah, sure. No problem. And yeah. like he didn't even really know how to tag it. He just kind of wrote it at the top. So whatever. Oh, it's so cute. So good. Like I, it's perfect. Do you know what I mean? It, it, that it's him, and that when you look at the picture, it's like him and his wife, all white haired. <laughs> like I love it. I love every second of it's it. Just, it's a random old couple. Because we've had a bunch of people hit, hit us up, like Craig Dulesky and Tim Morris and those guys, and they were like, hey, man, who's Glenn Campbell? And I was like, I uh, don't know. Yeah. Don't know. Um, there's a famous Glenn Campbell. Uh, who is oh, that? Oh, yes. Yeah. So it's not <laughs> – he's dead, by the way, right? I believe Isn't so. Isn't he? Was he the guy that had Alzheimer's and they did that documentary? He did that yes. documentary, yes, 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 My yes, Name yes, yes, or yes, something? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's not the same Glenn Campbell. Not the same, but um, – but everybody's like, oh, yeah, I, I know that guy. And I'm like, no, you don't know that guy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you definitely know. That. He's saying rhinestone cowboy, the real Glenn K Campbell. So, okay, okay. Yeah. Like I'm trying to look up this. Cowboy. I'm sorry, trying to look up this winery just because yeah, someone was asking pump me. Em. But, um, pump them. Pump them, baby. Pump no, someone em. was like, I might know the owner. but Oh, in uh, is, Pennsylvania? I don't know how many wineries could possibly be in Pennsylvania. Is that like a big... I don't know it to be a you big know, uh, you, hot spot. When you drive through these states, and mm -hmm. you know Dan and I have traveled to, I feel like every single state at this point, except for like eight, right? Yeah. As we, as I've driven through, I will say this: I've spotted wineries where I'm like, oh, this doesn't seem like a state that should have wineries. North Carolina's one of them. There yeah. Was, like when we were driving down to, but uh, our wine sucks here. Oh, it does. Yeah. So okay. like Duplin, sorry. I, I don't know. We're just not. There well, is it's all an about actual the grapes and the climate and all the that climate, shit, so. the soil, the environment, everything. So like there are weather. Mm. There are certain places. I'm sorry that right. are just make better wine because of how they're growing their grapes and what kind of, yeah. you know, environment they yeah. have. So unfortunately for North Carolina. Love you. Not, not a wine state. I have not had a good glass. First in flight. Not first in wine. No. Are we first in flight? And that's fine. We are first in flight. But like there we go, Alec. California, Napa Valley, you know what I mean? Yeah. France. France. No, I understand. There's but look, really not any other place that I'll, I can think I'll of. I'll drink in. wine from anywhere. So whatever that uh, Pennsylvania winery is that's sending you free wine yeah. for oh, being famous. Look, I'll definitely. That's amazing. Like, we'll drink the shit out of it. Vinoski, Vinoski Winery. Vinoski is the name of it. V-I-N-O-S-K-Y. I didn't know the uh, the Oskies make ah, great wine yeah, either. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, We're at in Pennsylvania. Yeah, it just says winery whoever, in Pennsylvania. Whoever – oh, did, did, uh, did somebody write that on, on YouTube? No, they he re they reached out to us and said, okay, we cool. have a winery in – Vernon, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Because it, it would be really fun to do a live show there because we have to go to Pennsylvania a lot, actually. Yeah. Um, we go to Philly, I don't know if they have a tasting room, so Philly every for Army winery. Navy and all that shit. Mm -hmm. If there is sports this year that have fans, uh -huh. uh, I'd love I'd do a show from there just for the hilariousness of it. It'd be great. Oh, for sure. It'd be great to for do sure. it from the winery. Yeah. Viskoski. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Vis Viskoski, right? Viskoski. Vinoski. Vinoski. Oh, they do weddings. Oh, so they have like an awesome great plant. We I'm sure it's a, a plantation type. They have a <gasps> castle on the property. Let's get remarried. We are coming up on the uh, same amount of we're years. We're getting close. Well, we've been As together Kabbalari? for, let's see, this will be nine years. Um, What's our? Been together for nine, married for what, seven? This will be seven this year. Be um, seven or yeah, eight? Seven. seven. No. 
from 2013? Yeah. Seven years. Jabe, seven years, you know? From 2013? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's 2020. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wasn't counting this year. Sorry. I was oh, already in 2021. Yeah, no, no, no. no, 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 no. We're done. We're you done. You chalked up the done. end of this year. Yeah, yeah, we're done. We can go back to um, Viscosky. Okay, so it's going to... We are at the Vinskoski. same... <laughs> Vinoski. Maybe if they make us partners, which they're talking about doing, we'll work on the name. But anyway, <laughs> no, they're not at all. They're asking to post our picture one time. Um but uh, so we're coming up on the same amount as Cavallari. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Scary. It's always scary, dude. Jay Cuts and Kristen Cavallari. It's very scary. Jay Cutler and Kristen Cavallari are all done. Um, that makes me sad. I'm <laughs> beyond. So what did you say to me yesterday? You're like, I have a bit of news. I do, and I said I was like with the kids all day, so I wasn't like on the phone, and I said, or else I would have seen you it. You should by the way. be sitting down for this. Yeah, and this I was like, is, shut up, gonna, shut up. This one's gonna hurt. We'll reenact the whole thing. Shut up, please. Like, oh my god. No, I'm serious. Like, like this one's really gonna. Oh, me. all right, some fucking sports thing or something. Just tell me, dude. Like, Kristen Cavallari and Jay Cutler are getting a divorce. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Are you serious? You lost, lost your shit. My mind now. Only because, I mean, this Bahama trips ju just happened. Mm -hmm. I watch their show all the time. They are perfect for each other. I yeah. love their banter. They're a lot like us. <laughs> it's a scary time. <laughs> what happened? Oh, there's a rumor that uh, Cutler cheated with her best friend, the girl with the black hair. Now, look. Yes. Now, that was... What, what's her sitch? So, now, that was famously documented in the last season to okay. where like you know there was the rumors they were shut down but it still kind of like affected them whether it was real or not mm -hmm. like there was so many people saying it and it was like oh, really? constant yeah and then she disappeared and either Kristen Cavallari is such a stone cold hardcore business bitch that she was like all right you guys fucking did this. You, girl, get the fuck out of here. You're never on the show again, mm -hmm. which she wasn't. Sure. Weirdly, like just disappeared. Right. And then we're going to work this out. You're going to be fucking cool and you're going to do whatever I say. And, and we need divorce afterwards. That or we can try and work it out. But you're definitely not going to fucking say shit to me ever. And we are, you are doing everything I tell you to do. Because I watch a lot of these shows with you because I know you enjoy them. That one I actually dug because Jay Cutler I knew from the NFL, obviously. And yeah. I always thought he was hilarious simply because he, I've never seen a human give a shit less about oh. life or anything other than Jay Cutler. And it, it's, oh, God, he was so good. There was these memes when he was playing football called uh, Smoke and Jay Cutler. Yeah. And the way his resting face is always looks like he's got a marble red sticking out of his, like, his Oh, his, so they would, mouth. like, Photoshop in. Photoshop in. Did he smoke Cigarettes ever? in his mouth. Uh, who knows? He oh, probably okay. did. Yes, he probably did. I'm sure he does. Currently. And he was just so over life at such an early age. And he took so much heat in Chicago. And he was their quarterback for like fucking 12 seasons. It was a very long time. And it wasn't as if he was terrible. He just wasn't great either. And they never won a Super Bowl with him. But the NFL, unfortunately, is a league that revolves around quarterbacks. And it's very hard to find a great one. Therefore, if you have a good one, yeah, you have to stick with them, uh, no matter what, because it's hard to find a great one. The, the Atlanta Falcons are going through that right now. We have a good enough quarterback, but he's not a superstar who's going to win mo multiple Super Bowls but you don't or even like... a Super Bowl. You can't risk giving him up because he's good you enough also, to get you to the playoffs. You also paid a bunch for him, probably. Yeah, right? same with Jay Cutler. So Jay Cutler in his career probably took home somewhere in the neighborhood of one fifty to one seventy. 170 million. Mm -hmm. um, that's a guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna look up Jay Cutler's career earnings here because it would alter your mind. I don't know how much she makes, but it's I, probably not close to Jay Cutler. I thought it was a lot, but people in these boards are saying that he definitely has way more money than she does. Like, there's no yeah. way. Yeah, I mean, unless he used all of his money to help her with her endeavors, I I don't know, because she's like started a bunch of businesses. She's on e mm -hmm. you know it's they're not like million billion dollar 
things. His, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So his last contract was seven years, one hundred and twenty six point seven million dollars. Um, and the deal doesn't include a signing bonus uh, and fifty four million of it was guaranteed. So he was averaging about eighteen million a year. Yeah. Um, Jay's fine. <laughs> Jay. Jay's fine, but Jay's like, good, and he's not like I have an to extravagant say, like, I guy. I love their little life, though. They would have like they had like a farm and goats and yeah, nice houses in Nashville. I they never weren't saw their three children, but ever, ever. But I think that was a choice for sure. Yeah, like yeah. I don't think she wanted to put her kids out there in that way. But they were always traveling and filming without <laughs> the kids. So, <laughs> eh. um, so. Smoking Jay is back on the streets. Yeah, they're insisting, insisting, and those rumors have been knocked down or whatever. They're mm -hmm. both insisting, insisting that that wasn't it. Sure. And of course they would, um, for the kids' sake, I'm sure. But another thing that a source like really close to them is saying that, yeah. you know that gay guy that went, the, her hairstylist and personal trainer that- The guy with the beard? With the beard and the too many, too big lips a lip, little bit. Lip injections, yeah. Too big of a lip injections. Great guy, kind of funny. But yeah. uh, he was on the vacation with them. Mm -hmm. He's, I guess, they were saying that he just like, hang, they hang out a lot. Okay. Like they were very close, her and her. Gay buddy. Gay buddy and the kids would all hang out a lot. And okay. Jay was kind of like, mm -hmm. Let's get this fucking guy out of here. Well, just what's up? Like, are we, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I completely understand that. Yes, I do too. Um, I actually think that that's kind of what happened with Chris Pratt and Anna Ferris. Like, if you get really close with a gay guy, girlfriend, whatever it may be, that mm -hmm. is like around all the time and you are doing things like talking about things, talking things out, like emotionally getting everything you need from this other person i think that that i don't know it's it's like the I, I other know. person is not in the relationship with you i'm sure you're talking about him you're working through relationship stuff without your husband do you know what i'm saying yeah i i know the chris pratt one though with anna ferris i know exactly what happened on that one um i'm just saying she started hanging out there was this gay guy that was her producer for her show right. and it they did it out of her house and it was like i mean all the time so here, here's what happened with the chris pratt closer together pratt one because I, I actually know this one um i mean for real you know and you no this one i definitely know um so when they got together right chris pratt she was huge she was fucking bigger than him yeah huge she was coming off house bunny which was a monstrous movie for her she was getting every fucking lead in town and yeah all of this shit right and he wasn't working at the time um, so it was kind of like, all right, cool. So all the events that they would go to, and the last time I, because I knew her back in the day, the last time I saw them together, I met him, and they when they had first gotten together, and he was kind of a dick. Mm -hmm. And uh, my one of my best friends was the editor of Parks and Recreation, mm -hmm. and they had just shot the pilot, but it hadn't come out yet. Mm -hmm. And that's what shot him to fame was okay. Parks and Recreation, right? And all the times that he was around with her, everybody was doting on the on her because she was a celebrity. But meanwhile, he had been acting for many years at this point. He was on some CW show, and um, he had knocked around in a bunch of things, but just wasn't the level of fame that Anna Ferris was. Mm -hmm. Then he got it. Mm -hmm. um, and then Anna Ferris, they had kids. She became a mom, started mm -hmm. doing podcasts, was hanging out more at home, mm -hmm. was doing a TV show that mom, um, which... Doing a TV show is one of the easiest gigs on the planet. Mm -hmm. A three-camera TV show, you really only have to go to work Monday through Thursday, maybe about four hours out of the day. You do a table read on Monday. Uh, you know, they'll, they'll do rewrites on Tuesday. Kind of. You have your own offices and assistants. And uh, I mean, hard if you have... Well, she had one kid. One yeah. kid. But the studio is really close to her house. Um, mm. And it, it's, it's just a cakewalk. And then you tape on uh, Thursday or Friday night, right? And that's it. And then you start the week over, and it's a dream gig. And I think they were paying her, I want to say, seven fifty an episode, right? Mm -hmm. But you're on a Chuck Lorre CBS Monday Night Show. You know, he does Two and a Half Men and all that other shit. And it's just like, meh. You know, it's fine. It mm -hmm. pays a lot of money, but it's not a sexy job where you're the leads in movies. 
And then he started getting Jurassic Park and all that other shit. Mm -hmm. The Jurassic Park thing took him away for like seven months. Those fucking shoots are long and brutal. And you don't get to see anybody. Um, and so they just started growing apart after that. And he wanted to be the big star and whatever. Right. And, you know, I think they, me personally, what I heard was like, I think they just grew apart as far as like he was now the master star he wanted to be. She wanted to be more of a mom. And then he. And then the fair rumors don't ever help that. Right. And like then the, they always, real or not, like you just don't. To your point, the gay guy was always around, the producer yeah. guy. That's that's never helpful during a relationship. Like you said, when, you, when you're talking shit it's out and never, whatever. It's never helpful if things are not good, right? right? So if you are spending all of your time that you should be communicating with your husband or your significant other, mm -hmm. communicating with someone else and working it out without them even knowing how you've worked it out. Yeah. This is a recipe for disaster, I think. And she, I, there was a rumor that he was with uh, Jennifer Lawrence during. Yeah, which I actually don't whatever. think that she, he was. Like, I don't think that he did. I don't. I don't. I don't have any idea. To be but like I've said before on another show, is that whether they did or didn't, it still showed him the other side of the fence. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where like yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a good time, gal, and then you're talking to your wife at home who's unhappy. You've been gone for seven months. Yeah. Like that's. You know, like you're not getting a fun conversation there. You're More getting a real months. life. I mean, look, you're doing Gar Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Jurassic Park. All of these are fucking six month shoots apiece. And then you go into that passenger movie. It's another five months apart. Like they were basically apart for two entire years at that point. Like, you know, he's yeah. shooting movies. And but that's why I always caution you against these good time gals. Do you know what I mean? Don't I? Every time you leave. Mm -hmm. I'm like, every good time gal that you're hanging out with that's so fucking fun, by the way, if they ever are like in an actual relationship, same. <laughs> They're going to be the exact same. Every good time gal turns into a nagging girlfriend or wife eventually. They never just stay that way. Like, oh, cool. You're what? Yeah. Seven years in. Oh, you are? <laughs> Have so much fun, babe. I'll just be here, okay? And I'll be down to drink when you get home. Bullshit, dude. <laughs> got kids. We've got shit. Like, it always turns. Okay? Well, I so think have a fun night or whatever, but don't think that that person sure. is any different. Sure. I think with him, it was very telling that he married this Catherine Schwarzenegger, who was very boring house mom, housewife doesn't want the spotlight. I didn't even know right, yeah. that Schwarzenegger even existed. Very like Christian. Yes. I think that was a huge He's part of it. He's religious and yeah. I so, don't think Anna Ferris is at all. She is nuts. Yeah. Um, but she's hilarious and cool and rad in real life. Yeah, so, like, I think she's awesome. And I, and I, I just, don't have a bad word so to different. say about her at they're all. They're so different. Yeah. Yes. So different. But I again, not a bad word to say about her. Just two different people who wanted two different things. And you know, it, it's hard. I, I can't even, even though I, I said Chris Pratt was a dick to us personally, like at that time, I don't know what he was going on in his personal life. So like, shit, man, it, it's hard when you're dating somebody where uh, of that level of fame that she was at that time, you're invisible. I mean, he might as well be in, invisible at this. We were, it was the MTV Movie Awards. Um, he was like the purse holder for her. And it was, that was it. Like, yeah, strange. Totally. Strange. Um, and, uh, you know, you get tired of it. And look, you went on to become a megastar. And it and is good what it for is. all of them. Yes. And her production uh, podcast media company is killing it. Her podcast is killing she's it. She's crushing it. She's great. She's I think fine. she's doing exactly. They're both doing exactly what they yeah. are meant to do. And she was married before, by the way. And I knew her first husband. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, and sure. he was a normal. That's the, that's the other. That's the weird part about that one was he was a normal dude, um, I, not an actor, not an anything. Mm. And I met him too, and I was just like, you know. But he was cool when with just met, being like, hey, this is my wife. Anna when Ferris, she she's met rad. Chris Pratt, we don't know if he was that way as well. Like, this is gonna be my life. There's no possible way that I yeah. turn into a leading man. So let's just fucking do it. And then he did. Yeah. And was like, never mind. <laughs> um, but this Cavallari thing is it's scary i know it's just a fucking show but i just like i don't know i thought i really liked them together on the show but i guess that is i really need to just like 
figure out that what you see on TV and Instagram is completely <laughs> not what's going on, right? But sometimes yeah. you don't realize that. You're like, there's no way that they could fake it that good for cameras that are all around. You would think that they would want to edit something in there like that. Do you know what I mean? Well, the... Maybe not. The the issue with shooting a reality show is it's it's usually about three months per season. Mm-hmm. You have cameras around you, makeup and crew and all that stuff that much out of your week. And we're fucking busy people. I consider us really, really busy people. Um, right. Imagine adding a reality show on top of it. But do you have to it's do mess. anything? They just like follow you around. They follow you around, but it's like trying to get your kids and wrangle your life together oh, yeah. like go to the grocery store they it's don't do that made me think like yeah they're not actually that busy like it, who knows i don't know what she does i with don't the company. know now jay cutler is definitely not busy not busy but that he's was also documented where he's just like all right i guess i'm gonna like you know <laughs> get some goats like get a barn cat like they just like you know yeah whatever that's I mean. what happens you get rich you start buying weird animals and shit like that no, uh, like a and farm. then you get a coli, you know? Sure. That's what happens, Jared Taylor. Yes, um, we definitely have some weirdo <laughs> friends that are. Um, but yeah, I, so I, w- with it, it's it's tough to say. Um, I don't know. It's just it's just also scary because she's like my ideal, like how I want to like look and what do you everything. Mean? I mean, she has like the perfect body, the perfect fake boobs that like don't actually look fake and like right. great shape eats very healthy her hair is great like <laughs> it doesn't matter they're still gonna fucking cheat on you <laughs> well uh can i throw Scary. can i throw jay cutler's hat into the ring for the bachelor that would be oh the greatest God. bachelor of all time they really need to bring it back because they are oh my gosh it would be the best here's why by the way with jay cutler they're saying this old ass bitch won't even go make it to tv but go ahead who the uh the old no. bachelor yeah they're we'll saying, get to that in a second yeah, yeah. we'll get to that in a second i so if jay cutler was the bachelor and here, here's why i say this he doesn't care about anyone there's nothing that needy girls love more than a guy that doesn't care about them yeah they it, you would see more tears and more fuckery behind the scenes trying to jay get jay cutler as you just shrugs of like so i don't know good. where are we at swiss alps cool we're going skiing today i guess so good i guess we're going skiing today so oh uh, look a fire you want to you want to fuck or what are we i guess do? that's why it was scary because i thought like who else would be into that who else would take every his shit? girl on the planet every okay. girl really? every single yes every girl think about it but both guys and girls all you want is a person that doesn't care you know most people because look there's only maybe five percent of us who are in good relationships mm-hmm. like me and you and some other for real yeah out of all of the friends and people we know about five percent where you're just sure. like yeah that's a normal relationship yeah, where they yeah. seem like they have a good time and enjoy each other all the time sure the rest there is something missing from the other thing and the other person doesn't care so it's like eh. with jay cutler dude that guy was swimming in pussy. Like, could you imagine after this? Someone in here said he like played for Miami, so he, did. he definitely did. He cheated. Played, played yeah. for the Dolphins after that. Like, are you kidding me? I know. It's Jay Cutler, the guy. Even in college, dude, go look at his because he looked identical. He looks the same that he did from college. Um, there's a there was a picture going around this weekend because it was the NFL draft. Um, and they still said Jay Cutler with the best flex of all time because he had a, a sidekick. And that's how he's talking to his agent. Mm-hmm. Look at when he gets drafted, how excited he is. It's like this. I mean, he's, just, he's dead. He's motionless. For you're, Hey, Jay, you just got drafted in the NFL. Sweet. Uh, what, time is, uh, what time is that shrimp going to be here? You're just like, bro. And if this wasn't sudden, by the way, because they're saying it wasn't out of the blue. It's been going on for a long time during filming and everything. Like, you have to be – I would not be able to – and you guys even know from the show, like, I am not able to just, like, act like everything's fucking rad mm-hmm. when it's not. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, she seemed so fucking happy they were in the perfect relationship. That's sociopathic behavior if you're able to do that. You don't know how long ago it was shot, though, is the, is the thing. Shot? Well, they were, but they were saying it's been forever. Uh, like, they're saying it's not out of the blue. 
in Who Bahamas. I like know. how happy they seemed in the Bahamas. Like that's sociopathic behavior. Like how are you? I guess kids are around. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, the other part about it is, look, if you're only shooting three or four hours out of the day, it's like, all right, great. Suck it up. I know when the Kardashians, uh, when they split up with their significant others, they would cut down the shooting hours for them. And she'd be like, look, we just need you for like three or four shots. Can you say this and then just get the fuck out of here? Mm. So right. they kind of tee it up for you. Sure. Um, what were you saying about The Bachelor, that that 38-year-old chick's not going to do it? So they're saying that um, it may not see the light of day because she's going to be 39 by the time it's shot or? no i mean the 39 year old <laughs> <laughs> played the long game waiting in the wings for a while whatever um in the interview this weekend with dateline deadline abc senior yep. whatever whatever yep um rob mills sounded optimistic about claire's role in the franchise confirming that her season will film there you go and that the show will air at some point even if they don't quite know when that is yet. So well, I would say that is that's that more because of, a, of no, this? It's, it's because of the COVID thing. So chalk that up to the COVID. And uh, so here's the big issue with states reopening and all this stuff. They're also recasting, too. Yeah, yeah, with, with the dudes. Yeah, because, look, you're, those NDAs, you can't expect those guys to hold that up for a year. Well, it was that also um, they – cast 22 to 25 year olds and they were like they know that they're next because of peter's bullshit peter they needed and listen to your snatch is not really working out listen to your vagina listen to your what listen to your heart sorry i'm sorry the show listen to your heart ah oh, the okay. new like yeah, musical yeah, 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 one. yeah 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 listen to your butt and so the ratings are that shitty. one's not really working out it's a weird concept it's stupid. They were really reaching on that one, yeah. yeah. Because, like, <laughs> the qualifications are you kind of have, like, one karaoke song that you sing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And then you're going to do a duet on yeah. stage with people. But. <laughs> so they really need to pull it out. So they're they're recasting. They're making it so there actually is an engagement because there hasn't been for the past three times. Yep. Um, I know this is quite boring, but another real quick Bachelor thing, Victoria F., the yes. train wreck from the last one yeah. is now with Chris Souls. Do you remember this guy? Chris Souls. The farmer that did a hit and run on his tractor? Yeah. They're together. Uh, Victoria she, F. Is she the hot one with black hair? What, hot one with black hair. Hot, hot mess with black hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably the hottest one on the show for sure. Yeah. And on that season, yeah. On that season, yeah. So she's with him. Nightmare. And I in Iowa. Nightmare human. And they the way that they announced it was putting their mug shots next to each other. How cute. What did she get arrested for? Oh, she's a mess. She's had like three DUIs. Ah, there we go. She's a mess. Great. Great. I love oh, that. Perfect, right? Drunk in yeah. love. They, drunk in love, they called it. Homeboy, though, uh, who killed the guy on the tractor. So sad. Like, um, it is sad, uh, but the guy was like 86, you know? The, the, the was he in the car and the guy was in the tractor? Guy he was wasn't tractor. driving drunk no. a tractor around. Okay. Welcome to Iowa. Uh, For sure. Craig Tulesky. I Iowa doesn't exist. The shitty thing is that he left the scene. I mean, that's fucking horrible. Well, there was booze in the car and uh, he ran home. Uh, turned out to be his best bet because he didn't get any jail time from it. So, yeah. And the guy died. Fine. So. And the, guy, the guy died. And I'm sure he paid him a lot of money. But that's what you get living on these weird farms in Iowa where there's just tractors rolling down your road late at night yeah. and you're like there's no lights on a tractor but um he was a cute little dum dum, and i'm i'm happy for them i liked him. It, it'll be weird though because i don't see that victoria f girl living out in the country that was his big thing was he lived in iowa and wasn't moving so mm, we'll see we'll see either way it, two things change good time gal you know fun for the situation good for him that's oh, a nice dude, rebound quarantine a nice rebound after killing somebody for sure after a sweet murder like that, it's a nice rebound. Wonder how these people meet in quarantine like this, or if she knew him before. Probably through the grapevine. No, you're the, in that bachelor, bachelor family at that machine, point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, good for them. Good for them. Not good for uh, the the Robertson, the youngest Robertson of uh, Duck Dynasty. Yeah, what's going on there? There was a drive-by shooting at their house. Ten bullets ended up going through their house. He wasn't home at the time, but the wife was, and so were the kids. And now they're looking for this pickup truck. They've got a they've got a photo of it, um, and they're trying to get any information. But uh, Dang. yeah, 
shot up a couple houses that he owns. So who knows what happened? Targeted. He was targeted. Yeah, but a drive-by shooting at a at a house like in the country. What? I don't know. What happened there? They're a very polarizing family. Yes. No, no, they're not. They're Duck like Dynasty. The nice, they're like the nicest people on the planet. Uh, okay. They're not polarizing. Uh, they kind of are. No. Yeah, yeah. The dad. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's it's weird, especially because it's in a pickup truck. So, like, let's face it. It's not. If you thought it was any racial thing, like. You know, nobody's driving a lifted pickup truck like that. Sure. Uh, except for white people. Like, that is a white people thing. Ooh. Right? I'll let you go down this road. I will sure. go down okay, that road. Okay, go. Um, there's n- there is not one, pr- other than a white dude in a lifted pickup truck like that, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. a super redneck thing to do. Sure. <laughs> I know, because I have one. Right. Um, that's the thing. It's like, dude, there's there's no way a black guy would get a fucking lifted pickup truck. Montel Jordan's got one. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Not this kind, though. If you look at the picture online of of the the, the lifted pickup truck, I mean, it's super fucking white trash. Like, this is a white trash individual doing some white trash shit. So, sure. Uh, I call it like I see it. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I'm I'm not afraid to tie negative stereotypes to my own race on this one. On this one, and no, uh, that's what it was. Mm-hmm. That's clearly a fucking white trash dude who's just like, fuck it. Yeah, weird. Fuck, damn. Fuck him. And I bet he, he used one of the duck, those duck calls that they make, you know? <laughs> just to try to draw him out. It was just like, mm. fuck you. Right. Duck Dynasty, more like fuck Dynasty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Um, that's probably some jealousy. One of the relatives fucked each other or, you know. Sure. One of the cousins fucks someone else. Who knows? Right. Who knows what goes on in that type of shit? Who where Where knows? are they from, Alec? Are they from uh, Arkansas, Louisiana? Yeah. Come on, man. Is Louisiana? It Louisiana? Yeah. Um. Huh? So you know. Eh. Uh, that's uh, it's par for the course, Louisiana. It's weird. They don't talk like they're from. Louisiana. You're kidding. They're super redneck. Redneck, but they're not like. I can understand what they're saying, which uh, Louisiana can't understand. Uh, the Cajun, the Cajun. It's not English. Hey, so. Gator, Gators. Yeah. Go get some live Gators. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not English. So not like interessant. That. Yeah. They're not that They bad. struck me as more of like an Alabama crew. You know? Yeah. Gators. Uh, you want mm-hmm. some Gators and Jumbo? Yeah. Jumbo. Yep. Jumbo. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, so. so Whoever that person is, I can. I, if you're the if you're the police that are currently looking for the people inside this vehicle, know that the race is white. It is Caucasian. This is definitely honkies who did this um, to them. Just in case you're wondering. Sure. Uh, before we get to the sponsors, for sure. Vote a five. Go to iTunes, and uh, we're we're super close to a thousand. We're only like forty away. Forty reviews away from a thousand oh, on nice. iTunes. Go to iTunes and uh, rate it a five. Give us one quick comment. Or you can just fucking rate it. Who cares? A five. Uh, we just need to get over a thousand. Get over a thousand. We're only like uh, eh, forty away. Eh, Barry J. Leno. Eh, forty away. Ah, I get a car, a Studebaker from the nineteen forties. Uh, let's go for a ride. Um, so forty reviews away. Go to iTunes. Rate it a five for us. The advertisers love it. Oh, they love it. Go to Ross Patterson Revolution uh, and do that right now on iTunes. Right now, we got some Spencers who pay for the show to be on the air. Jabes. Do they still? Yeah, I wonder if uh, Ghostbed from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros was responsible for the bed that uh, Jay Cutler cheated on his, his wife with. You think he boned uh, that girl with the black hair in a ghost bed? Probably. I, I don't. No, I cannot believe that that happened. Sleep's I cannot so believe. so good, it's scary. I can't believe <laughs> that he did that. Well, maybe she was too busy. She wasn't putting out, you know? She was definitely busy. Jay Cutler was just like, yo, man, enough. You know? Enough. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. I'm Jay Cutler, bitch. I'll smoke <laughs> a cigarette in the front yard. Right. And then bone your best friend. Yeah, gosh. Uh, you can bone your best friend on a ghost bed mattress from ghostbed.com forward slash drinker bros. Everything is 25% off. Every single thing. 20 twin, 50 fin, 
twenty five percent off. See if they're free doing... pillows. They are. I get oh, okay. I get an email from Rich. Okay. They're doing free pillows with every mattress purchase, and uh, they're doing uh, the the free covers. By the way, um, at uh, dr- drinking bros at ghostbed dot com. If you email them, they'll just give you a free cover to anybody who's military or first responder for the first ten people. First ten people. Yeah, do um, it. Do it right now. Do it today. Mm. Do it today, right now. I talked to him. I talked to him on Friday. Okay. Yeah. So the best. And again, their thirty-six month pay as you go program. No interest on that. So if you get that stimulus check, uh, you know what to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Because I knocked it down to like twenty-five bucks a month. Mm. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up, we've got expressvpn.com Ooh. forward slash revolution, Jabes. Um, the best in the biz expressvpn.com forward slash revolution. Everybody is trying to hack into your shit. Now it is fucking Just crazy. Assume that assume it. I dude, I I've gotten so many emails of like, can you verify this account? Verify this account. I'm like, who is doing this? Thankfully I've got expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros. Can't get through to my shit dog. Sorry, dude. It's a seamless app that runs in the background of every electronic device. You have iPhones, uh, laptops, hard tops, desktops, iPads, you name it. Keeps your shit safe. It is only $7 a month. You don't even know that it's there. You can also break through any firewall at work. If you were blocked from websites, this will do it. Sorry to your bosses that you're watching Pornhub Premium because it's free, dog, at work. Um, you're welcome. You can also fucking go on to Netflix and other people's countries. Yeah, I said it. You can do it. Go to expressvpn.com forward slash revolution today. Protect all your devices. China. China. It's trying to fucking get you, dude. Uh, this will help stop China from getting all of your devices and all of your passwords. Go to expressvpn.com forward slash revolution today. Seven bucks a month. If you sign up for a year, you get three for free. Look at that. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Shabloinkers. Lasts longer than five hour energy. Comes in a tasty tiny little tin pouch. You see right here. I like it so. Oh, I like it so. And all you have to do is uh, squeeze it open and, and pour it into any liquid available. Boom. You're good to go. Four amazing flavors. Grape. Orange. Uh, lemon. And the Ridge. I, a lot of people still love the Ridge, dude. The OGs. I get it. Um, no carbs, no sugars. It'll keep that quarantine 15 away. 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottle. Go to, to uh, strikeforceenergy.com. Promo code revolution for 20% off. Last but not least, we got straightrazors.com. Ooh, today's a special one. Is it? Yeah, it is. Go ahead, James. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you right? Yeah. Now, I re- it was requested it was. by many people a because lot of, people. of our next story, but carry on. Rocket Man. R.I.P. Rocket, Rocket Man. Man. Rib Raff Rub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, straightrazors.com has got you all squared away for all your shaving needs. A lot of stores are still sold out of shaving supplies. Um, so you can order online and they'll ship it right to you. Uh, they've got normal razors as well, as well as uh, the straight razors, obviously, and then uh, shampoo, beard oils, conditioners, uh, uh, mustache, waxes, you name it. Uh, go to straightrazors.com. Promo code let REVOLUTION, 20% off there. Rocket Man is dead. He's dead, James. He's dead. Rocket Man. <laughs> And I think it's going to be a wrong, long, wrong time. Oh, a wrong, wrong time? <laughs> I'm, I'm a fan of that. I am a big fan of that. Yeah, so I said this a week ago. And, uh, and everybody was like, whoa, what the fuck, Russ? What the fuck? I said, what? He, was, I said he, he was dead. I said that uh, Kim Jong-un was uh, Kim Jong-un responsive. And... But it was like, man, I don't know. I don't know. I was like, come on, man. They're fucking keeping this guy propped up and alive uh, on a ventilator somewhere. He's probably a brain dead veg. I don't know. They're still not saying it on any anywhere. TMZ but did. TMZ. So TMZ reported Friday night yeah. or Saturday night that he was dead and that was it. Um, I look. Uh, uh, yes, I, I do believe he's dead. One. Right. Two. 
Um, if he is somehow still alive, I believe that he is in a veg vegetative state and they're trying to figure out how to get the next person in power, which may be the uh, KYG, you know? Oh, the Kim Yo sister. Jong. Yeah. Yeah. A sister. Mm -hmm. Looks like a stone cold bitch. Either sure. way, both are frightening. And uh, I She's think they're trying to figure out the succession of power before, you know, people start making their own bids within that country. Uh huh. Because uh, you can do that shit over there. Mm. Um, I, I found it extremely odd that China set down their own uh, their own medical experts to where he lives. So China, China. Well, they're both communist countries, right? China. So it would behoove them to keep North Korea communist. That way, they can keep South Korea and North Korea separate. Mm. Because let's face it, if if North Korea ha had a fucking revolution, and then you know. Like East and West Germany, why? What's to stop them from becoming one country again, and uh, you know, just living a normal life, just being a democracy? Okay. Because, truthfully, when you're on a blackout, like internet-wise and all that other shit, cause South Korea is not. I mean, they had the fucking Olympics there mm -hmm. last last cycle. If you're under internet blackout and everything else, and the government controls you, and you don't know any better, and then you just stop that and open up the thing, like you know. There's a lot of families that haven't seen each other on both sides of that border where it's like. How does that affect China, though? That it wouldn't be a communist country anymore. So uh, that's one less ally for you mm. uh, if you're China. Um, and especially in Asia, uh, you know, Vietnam is no longer communist as well. So it's like, all right, who are you down to? It's pretty much them and Russia at that point, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Cuba? Three? What are, what are we looking at? Three? Mm. Mm. So. Uh, that, that's kind of where it would put you and that would put China as the only country in Asia that would be communist so you don't really have an ally against the US or whoever your your enemy is so um, when do you think they're gonna confirm I, I think, it I think they're all down there now trying to figure out the succession of power and how to get this done swiftly so that when they do announce it boom they've got her propped up ready to go and uh, and then it can be an easy transition of power Otherwise, if they just come out and announce that he's dead, then it's up for grabs at that point. And it's like, look, I don't know another. Well, we talked about this last week, but there, there is no other female leader of a communist country ever in the history of communism. So I think people would be after her head and be like, oh, fuck her. Mm -hmm. I'll take her out and leave this country like that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. So I think they're trying to figure out the balance of uh, how to say goodbye to him and then how to get her in there as quickly as possible and make it a seamless transition so they can they can move on mm -hmm. um but uh Jap I, I, yeah because japan's not um south korea is not communist uh i don't think vietnam is anymore um so i'm not sure if vietnam is right yeah, double check it see if yeah. v vietnam is a communist country people are asking um it, it used to be but i don't i don't yeah. like my parents went there on a cruise so like i just can you? You can go to China too if you want. <laughs> no, I I know you can go, but I don't know the, the like the rules and and all that shit behind it. Like, I, you can't just take a cruise yeah, to China. It's a socialist republic. It's a socialist republic. Okay, so it's like it's like Venezuela. Uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of it down there. But I think he's I think he's dead. I think Rocket Man yeah. is dead. I don't I don't think Rocket Man's alive anymore, Jabes. No, and you're he gonna can't like be. the way you look. I guarantee he can't it. Can't be. Wouldn't he be popping up, being like, "Hey guys, he shut would." Up. Yeah, I mean, there's it, well, they don't. too many rumors, and uh, they've got they had some weird Google Earth images last night where his train was spotted at at the place where he vacations, mm. uh, which is an awesome flex that you just have a train, you know, right up to your vacation house. Like that's dope. You know? He has a train? Yeah. You don't want to drive? Cool. Just take a train up there. Take a train to my vacation house and drop me off there. God. That'd be awesome. Wow. Sweet flex, right? Such a waste, dude. At least with a fucking private jet. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, what a waste of all of that. I, I think he was so paranoid, though. Like, he doesn't fly. For real. He doesn't fly. He doesn't do anything. Like, this, what's safer than a train? He's not taking Uber. Yeah. Jeez. And oopskies. He's not ordering an Uber XL for himself, you know? They don't have that shit there. Maybe a copter? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, and then to that point, I watched, uh, we, we watched The Last Dance last night. Um, I popped on 
because it was part three and four of the uh, Jordan doc, um, which is the greatest thing on on the planet, and so good. Could not have come at a better time uh, in the history of this nation. Right now, we need it. We need it, baby. But I watched, I rewatched the uh, Dennis Rodman Thirty for Thirty about his life and that mm-hmm. whole shit. Um, and then, because I was like, with the Rocket Man stuff, I was like, I wonder if they went over his trips to Korea and they did to North Korea. Oh, okay. And Very he, strange that. Remember? He went five times to North Korea. So strange. Brought a, a team of like former NBA players and held an exhibition there and like they had some behind the scenes footage from some reporters and shit and uh, they said the last two trips he was so drunk and out of control over there um, screaming at people at dinners and shit. Dennis Rodman. Yeah, and they have footage of it that they showed, and it's it's a wild doc. And they handled in they handled Rodman Rodman's sitch in this documentary, mm-hmm. Jordan The Last Dance, very like respectfully, right? Like they just were sort of like, well, he didn't come back, and then we went to get him. Not like all of his crazy shit. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? They handled it very like mm, he was just a wild child. The best part ever now is when this trailer came out, dropped, what, five or six months ago, and you and I were discussing it on air, I was like, yeah, it was a bunch of weird cameos, like Carmen Electra. And I was like, why was Carmen Electra? And then, oh, yeah, she was married to Dennis Rodman. The story that she's involved in last night was the greatest thing of all time, and everybody's talking about it today. Of her being in the room? Yes, the uh, Michael Jordan's knocking on the door after he's on a Dennis Rodman's on a five day bender in Vegas when he asked in for Vegas, 48 hours and Carmen Electra is afraid of Jordan as well and that she hid yeah. behind a desk and put a blanket over herself. You're Carmen Electra and the prime like of your you're life. Not in tr- you're not doing anything illegal. No. You're partying with your <laughs> But everybody's boyfriend. comments on Twitter are just like, dude. That's how how scary. much pussy did Dennis Rodman get that Carmen Electra was worried that she would get caught in inside of his room? Like, mm-hmm. no, you should have been like, dude, I'm Carmen Electra. Like, I'm I'm in the fucking bed. Yeah, I'm with. I think it's more husband. of like, I think it's more of an a testament to how scary Jordan actually was. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Maybe. I think everyone was just really scared of him to the point that even if you're just in bed not doing anything, mm-hmm. you're fucking scared yeah and then a lot of people were commenting on, on, online last night how hot she was uh for being close to 50 at this point is she yeah she looks great yeah B- uh, people were shocked and they were like shit i haven't seen her in years to be honest with you the she last time great. i saw her was in that reality show with dave navarro do you remember that where they were together mm-hmm. or they were married remember those I crazies remember. i don't remember the they reality were fucking show in cars and stuff it was on mtv yeah, you remember it? I don't. Yeah, it was uh, Dave and Carmen. Oh. And that was a thing for a that. while. Yeah. I missed that Dave and Carmen. He had his nipples pierced and all that shit. Oh, we like, know about yeah. him. I'm just saying, like, and I know they were together. I just didn't know they had a reality. They were putting on makeup together all the time. Like, it, it was it was hilarious and, and rad and exactly what you hoped for. Okay. Um, but they're obviously divorced now. I don't know what she's doing anymore, but uh, good for her. Yeah, she looks great. Holding up. Uh, holding up uh so is brad pitt man god damn it he god popped up this week damn it snl did it's uh, ridiculous another stay from home episode which they should stop doing really stop doing it guys it's awful that chloe Feynman chick is the only so one who's bad. built for that she had another killer sketch and uh she's the only one Just that is literally stop. built for that format yeah so dr fauci fauch dog fauci the Fau. the fauch he jokingly said at a press conference last week, they were like, look, man, everybody loves you and you're becoming famous. Like, who do you want to play you in the movie? Um, of the pandemic. Of yeah. the pandemic. And he said, well, it'd be a, a Brad Pitt, obviously, like joking around. And Brad Pitt shows up playing Dr. Fauci on SNL. I Even though I, d- I dislike SNL um, now, just because it's not funny anymore. Mm-hmm. And like, they should really stop doing those stay from home episodes. Sure, sure, sure. Altogether. We get that, yeah. Um, Oh boy, I t- I can't stress that enough. But sure, um, no, we get it, we get it. Uh, it was very cool of Brad Pitt to do that, and uh, 
and it was it was, was funny. It funny? Mm. Uh, I mean, it, no, it was it kind of had a serious tone to it towards the end. Oh, okay. Because at towards the, end, the of it, end, yeah, but he took off his wig and was just like, "Hey, man, thanks for everybody for what they're doing and right. everything else." But and uh, I think he was like thanking the Fouch as well too. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but it was really cool of him to do that and uh, rad to see and uh, Fouch dog, dude. Because when this all ends, he'll go back to you know. It's not like you get a, a worldwide pandemic that that many times. Well, I guess every two years. Oh, this one will keep going back and ruining our lives forever. <laughs> yeah. So like, Fouch is in our lives now. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, nothing's gonna get better. We'll see. It better. Nope. Nothing's gonna get better, yeah. and everything's gonna suck now. It better. So. Nah. You no know, fun. <laughs> fun. Fun baby. stuff. Um, d- today Georgia and. Uh, South Carolina and Tennessee are open. So cool. we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping well. That way we can return back to life. They're opening our beach today at noon. So Yeah, but you, you know. can't do anything. You gotta keep it moving. Whatever. I'm, dr- <laughs> I'm drinking crispy boys all day long, James. Try it. How embarrassing crispy to be like boys. taken off, like booted off the fucking Beach, beach for sitting there whatever man because i would get mad and i would be like irrationally like bitchy about it which would be even more embarrassing yeah do you know what i mean yeah it's all just very embarrassing <laughs> 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 this whole thing is just very embarrassing because even the people opening their businesses are getting like protesters they're getting like you know people are pissed no, off dude people got to get back to work no i know it's i'm just saying like crazy. even them opening now it's to like such you know, now they're the like bad guys and they're just trying to fucking mm-hmm. <laughs> make a little bit of money to take care of their family. And, you know, I've said it before and there was actually a salon owner, kind of blonde, more hardcore chick that was just like, hey, you guys aren't going to help us feed our family. So guess what? We're going to have to fucking do it. Yeah. No. You're not helping us like no. twelve hundred dollars that hasn't even come yet yep. is not helping us out. So we've got to do it for ourselves. Like if you can't pay everybody what they need to take care of their family, mm-hmm. you have to let them make their own money. And and I agree. And I, I, agree, I think the, the rest of the nation is watching to see how this goes over the next yes, couple of weeks. We're rooting for them. Yeah. Please do 100%, well. Yeah. Because I, I want to be done with this bullshit and uh, really, really want to say fuck China because I haven't said that this week. Sure. I haven't. Have I? Yet? Well, you said uh, it probably, two I, times the show already. Yeah, probably, yeah. I think I said it this morning too when I woke up. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But fuck China, man. Mm. So I but look. Hopefully they do well and all this other shit opens. Our pussy governor here, that guy, is it Cooper? Yes, Roy Cooper. God. Doesn't he ask every time? Huh. I hate him. It's I, Cooper. I, I hate him. Uh, yeah. I always get him. Whoever, man. It's th- this fucking sack of turds. Yeah. Um, the sack of hot wet turds. Like, well, yeah. we're going to do May 8th. Sweet. All of the fucking states that surround us, Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina, all of them are open. Except like, why for can't us, we just try it? You butt fuck. I don't think I've ever called a, a human a butt fuck before, but uh, I'm calling Roy Cooper a butt fuck. I cannot wait to vote in November against this guy. I don't care who's running against him at all. Yeah. Don't give a shit. I don't give a shit if it's the fucking redneck in the truck who tried to shoot up the Robertson house on uh, Duck Dynasty. Yeah. Check. You're getting a vote, bro. Uh, Roy Cooper, May 8th. Come on, dude. So that's a week from Friday? Fuck you, bro. Like, why not slowly open stuff? Dumb. And what is it even going to happen on the 8th? Salons, bowling alleys. Tattoo uh, shops? Who knows, man? Retail who knows? stores? Who knows? What are, what are people going to do on May the 4th? You know? It's a big date for people, Jabes. May the 4th be with you. It really is. You're not huh? going to be able to go out and have sword play in public because Roy Cooper wants to jack himself off a little harder. Um, I'll remember it, Roy. Come November, I will remember. I'm like Santa. I got a list and I check it more than twice. Ombre. Sword play? Yeah. Saber play? Is it a lightsaber? Yeah. A little saber play? Yeah, just a little saber play, you know? Um, A little flavor saber. Yeah. um, Some of the girls in here are talking about it breaking, like, kind of coming between friendships. 
which oh, I yeah. was talking about with another one of For my friends sure. the other day where it's like uh, she was talking on Skype with her friend yep. and like her kid and another kid ran behind the back and the girl was like, you should not. That's very irresponsible to be having your kids play with other kids. And the girl was like, dude, bro. Yeah. What? Any one of my fit friends who is not in this age group that's affected or has a respiratory problem. I look at them as just weak people and it's not going to change my mind anymore. Yeah. Like even after this is over, I can't go back to not seeing them as weak individuals. Yeah. Who were either could be a possible rape vic at some point in their life. I'm talking about dudes. Um or you know. Well, they're just easily controlled. Yeah. Like they're easily like if somebody tells them to do something, they just do it. They don't question, they don't go like, "Man, this is kind of fucking crazy." They literally just like I found I found out who are the real ones during this whole sitch, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, and I and I know who they are. I know who the real homies are in this. Okay. Uh, the rest of them, it's just like you're fucking weak, dude. You know? Uh, can I have my soup? There'll be in line for soup one day. Can I have my soup, please, master? And it's like, yeah, you can have your fucking soup. You're gonna have to dance for me, monkey. Um, you know? Put some bottle caps on the bottom of those shoes because you're gonna be tapping a while. They're Get the on ones, a hard surface and they're give the me ones a nice that ball shuffle be... change. That will be in. <laughs> what? Serious. I need to end, end that. <laughs> but um, I didn't really have a thought. Oh, well, those are the ones that will be like in the prison with the big open door, right? Yeah. They're the ones that will be like, we've got to stay in here, though. Yeah. And everyone's like, dude, just fucking. No, leave. just run. Just, just get leave. out of here. Yeah. We can't. We're not allowed. Yeah. It's like, oh, OK, well, I'm just going to go like. And, <laughs> and it divides the people into like the ones that stay in the prison with the big open door and the ones that just fucking walk out. I'll, I'll never forget in high school. There was uh, like it, we used to have this thing called junior senior wars, right? Like juniors against the seniors. You would egg each other's houses and oh, gay. toilet well, paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kids shit. Toilet paper. Each other's houses. Like it was a fun thing or whatever. Right. Um, there, there was like uh, two or three cops that broke up. We were in this field. At this place, right? And they broke it up, and they were like, "Everybody, get out of here!" No, they were like, "Line up, we're taking you all to the, we're getting the paddy wagons. We're gonna take you all to jail for you know? what? Curfew? Egging, egging oh. property and shit like that. I, I don't think there was curfew in high school or whatever. And so there was like, you know, twenty or thirty of us lined up on this curb, just sitting there, right? Yeah. And they told us to put our hands behind our back, and there was three of them, three cops. <laughs> And I, I, I'm in the middle of this, and, like, everybody's just sitting there patiently. And this was, like, I think it was 17 years old. Yeah, 17 years old. And I just looked around. They haven't gotten IDs yet. No. They don't have a car that they have. Nope. Uh, they could get, registered. you know, the license plate or anything. Nothing. You can. So I looked around, and I go, Run I looked at my away. buddy, and I go, uh, I go, hey, man, what's this stop us all just from running away at this point? Just running out of here. And they were like, well, it's, it's, it, it's the cops. And I was like, cool, man. But look at them compared to me. I'm, I'm a fucking athlete who's gotten no, 110 but it's also scholarships. Like no, I'm in my fucking prime. Yes, There's but no way knowing, they're going to catch me. Knowing your rights. Like, why are we actually being... Do you know what I mean? Like, that sort of thing, too. Of, like, we're not wasted. We're not hurting anybody, well, right? Well, I think, I think we, had, we had, had a couple beers. And we had eggs some shit. And I guess, like, some signs had eggs on them or whatever, right? Technically, we were defacing some form of property. Very minor shit. Like, sure. great. There was eggs on a fucking handicap sign. Like, look... I think the handicapped have their own fucking problems. They're not worried about their sign is to face by a goddamn egg. But you know? all you really need to see is like the blue and the white like wheelchair thing. So like I'm sure they were fine. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And it's just like you're gonna, you know, fine us and do all this other community service and everything. And I I, lo I did. I looked at my buddy. I was like, Hey man, what's to stop us from running? Like they will never catch me. They will never catch any of us. We're high schoolers, dude. Sure. We're in our fucking primes. We could run like the goddamn wind. Um, and he was like, I don't, I don't know, man. It's some fucking cops. It's, it's like it's the police. Like, uh, you know, this is this is pretty serious. And I was like, eh. And I get all that, but I was like, so we're gonna sit here while they radio in for paddy wagons to come just because they can fit all of us. And I go, fuck this. So I just stood up, and the, the you know the cop was like, sit down, sit huh? down, and I, sit down. And I was like, no. Why don't you chase me? And I just took off. And it's exactly. I mean, it was like Forrest Gump popping out of his fucking leg braces. I, I was gone, dude. Like, couldn't stop me. Nothing. And the guy gave chase. Like, the cop gave a, the the cop gave chase for like twenty yards, and there was like a ditch. Maybe gave like, chase. He gave chase. Yeah, that's what it's called. 
He gave chase for 20 yards, right? And there was a ditch that was maybe four or five feet like wide, you know, that just went into the woods after mm-hmm. that, with like some little creek or stream there. Mm-hmm. Um, I leaped over that like I was fucking oh, Carl like a Lewis. Gazelle. Yeah, and and homeboy like attempted it, and he was just like, no. So plus you have all the other kids there that you need to stay on the ground, right? It, so you can't be like chasing yeah. everyone. So, so if you guys all just ran away, out of the good out of the go. thirty, like two of my other friends took. They they saw me and they were like, oh shit, <laughs> Ross is out of here, right? Mm-hmm. Two of my other friends took off, right? Uh, and the rest of these idiots. These fucking dumb dumbs. Man, just waited for the paddy wagon, got arrested, did, you know, did their time, did, uh, a, like, they had something like, I don't know, 40 hours of community service and, like, fines and all this other shit. Their parents had to get them. Um, and uh, the, the, they turned in the, the list. It was very dazed and confused, like old school. They turned in the list to the football coaches. Mm-hmm. And, um, I was on ISS at the time, which is in-school suspension for a whole separate thing um, other than this, right? And But it was a, one of the football coaches was in there, and a big barrel-chested guy. He coached uh, football and, uh, and baseball. Coach Lemon was his name. Mm-hmm. And he goes, uh, when I walked into ISS on Monday morning, this has happened over the weekend, he goes, Ross, huh, I'm real surprised you're not on this list. The rest of your friends are. And he goes, you must have been quicker than them. Mm. And I just looked at him and I was like, and smarter. Yeah. And then just served the rest of my ISS. Like that was it. He was kind of, he was a cool guy. He was in the know, you know, kind of sure. gave me the wink, wink. And I was like, uh. look at this. I'm, are you kidding me? You're not catching daddy. <laughs> right. I was in a full sprint. Now, granted, I had to walk, I don't know, four or five miles back to my house. But as a 17 year old, whatevs, would that take me 20 minutes? Uh, everybody else spent the night in jail. Right. Had to go through community service, fines, all that other shit. And I was just like, you idiots, dude. Right. Three of them and 30 of us. If we wanted to, we could have overpowered them. It's that, it's that classic thing. Talk to uh, guests on Drinking Bros about this, about uh, how many fourth graders could you punch out like if, if you were attacked by people before they would overtake you? You know? Mm-hmm. That number's probably like 80. 80 fourth graders could overpower you, right? Oh. You could only knock out yeah, so yeah, many. Yeah, and it's for just sure, like, for sure. Yeah, there, there were zombies. We'll call them zombies. <laughs> but they're real fourth graders. Um, you know, where you're just like, oh, shit, the fourth graders could totally overrun a whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bunch of adult, oh, yeah. adult humans. Same with same with us and these cops. It was like, motherfucker, you're not catching me. Yeah. Quick as shit. I'm in my prime right now. <laughs> right. I'm just happy that I recognized it, learned it, lived it, loved it, and uh, got the fuck out of there. No, I like Saved it. Save myself some time. Sure. Save, save my parents some money. Sure. And uh, save myself some community service of picking up uh, garbage on the side of 400. So pretty stoked about that. Uh, what I'm not stoked about is uh, Hawaii just announced. Ew, it's a terrible one. They're extending their ban until May 31st. Uh, mm. My God, man. Imagine living in Awful. Hawaii, the most beautiful place on earth. Can't go outside. Or do anything. Also, that that entire state is based on tourism. Yeah. So All those people that live you're there. Just ki- you're just what are you continuing doing? the. I'm looking at the picture of their governor. This guy is old as shit. No mm-hmm. wonder he wants to lock down. Sure. He's that guy's already got one foot in the grave. You know, by yeah. him, he's just worried about the other one. Uh, see you later. Oai, oai, Mahalo. Boy, I bet the people are going to rage there. Uh, I don't know how that works, but um, like, there's no way they can be happy about that. No, I mean, we May know 31st? one person that lives there, and she's moving to Texas. Oh, really? Yeah. Who is it, Tara? Mm-hmm. No, no shit, yeah. because she's fed up with this stupid shit? Well, yes and no, but, like, I mean, f- company-wise, but, like, yeah. If you don't have something there, like keeping you there or whatever meh it's funny man so you know everybody I mean? every everybody i've talked to that has moved to hawaii because i mean living in la for as long as we did there's always like four or five you know your friends or acquaintances who are just like fuck this i'm just gonna move to hawaii it's gorgeous right. all the time it's beautiful and then you get there and they've all said the same story they were like man if you're not a local they hate you yeah and it's really hard to get jobs there, at, like the bars and shit like that. And it's slow. 
and you know gas is like nine dollars a gallon they're like yeah unless you're rich and you buy a place on the beach and people a bunch of people just work for you right everybody's miserable there yeah they said that you can get sick of paradise i can see it absolutely i can see that absolutely so man uh Lai, mahalo. mahalo may 31st you fucks are stuck inside because your governor is old as shit. Um, man. Uh, and then last but not least, everybody's raging about the Lando Lakes. The butter. They took the Indian off the thing. They did it a while ago, actually, and no one really noticed. Do we care? Does anybody really care? I saw people bitching back and forth online about it. Like, you know, are we not allowed to use Indians for anything? Didn't they invent butter? Uh, Aren't we just giving the proper credit at this point where it's due? I don't think they did i think I, they did okay i think the indians invented butter in this country yeah you know i don't know i think we're they yeah. were here before us yeah but we're still gonna have the chiefs i mean i don't know redskins chiefs redskins all that other shit like you know but lando lakes we're just taking Cleveland the indians. indian off i don't know yeah and the, and the weird part about it is they left like the trees and all that other shit it's just like w- did nobody tell them it's like hey we also took their land yeah so we'll leave you. Let's leave the land on there that we stole from you. But let's take the Indian off. Just uh, so that we think so everyone thinks it was our <laughs> land to begin with. History is just going to get keep getting. Rewritten, Otherwise, by the way. you'd think that maybe it was the Indians land first. And we kind of don't want them to think that. Yep. They don't want they don't want them to think badly of us. No. I, even though we full on did that. In a hundred years. Imagine what this country is going to be like. We're going to be long gone. Right. For sure. And I'm happy about it, actually. Like, I don't I don't want to stay there for I don't want to stay here for another hundred years. No, no, no. I don't want to see how pussified this country is going to get because you're going to they're going to rewrite all of history altogether. Um, There will be no civil war, no nothing at that point. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, And every single thing you could possibly be offended by movies, books, everything will be pulled uh, and it'll just be this genderless, neutral fucking everybody's wearing white bed sheets around like that's it uh so i'm kind of amped to get the fuck out of here in like 20 or 30 you know sure i want to go to space obviously and hang mm. my hang my dork out but uh that's about it that's about it at this point you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and i look back at the beginning of the year because everybody was like i got a bunch of messages over the weekend they were like look you can really trace when this the, the like the madness started um to uh that door? Uh, Kenny Rogers died. When Kenny Rogers died, that's kind of when everything went to shit. Oh. Um, I, I, I'll go back a little further and say Kobe. But if I'm Kobe right now and I'm looking down at this this bug fuck, it's mm-hmm. just like, eh. Yeah. Kind of sweet that I checked out of that in, in, sure. in time. Sure. Uh, especially if he's looking at the great state of Uai. Mahalo. Hey. May 31st. It is April 27th today, Jabes. Mm. That is 35 more days of lockdown. Yeah, fuck that, dude. If this, if the governor, that this dickless, ballless wonder of North Carolina Cooper, um, if he extends this past May 8th, whew, it's a fight on sight, brother. Right. Pull that guy out in the street. Pull his pants down, old school tar and feather. At that point, you know. Right. Uh, I, I think uh, my constituents uh, think we should go an extra two weeks in the May thirty first. I don't know if he talks like that, but it's kind of how it seems like he talks. Probably, yeah. probably yeah. talks like that. Um, you know, take him back to the fucking creek with uh, Opie, have him skip rocks because we got to get that guy the fuck out of here. May, we're good on May 8th. After that, like, we, we riot, Javes. Mm-hmm. I'll stand out there with a sign, you know? Yeah. No peace, no gentleness, no peace, no gentleness. <laughs> and when my date back, I went to rank the winner. Fuck you, Cooper. Mm-hmm. I'll, get, I'll stand out there with Andy Griffith's sign and just be like, stop taking us back to Mayberry. Right. You fuck. Um, May 31st, though. Whew. Let me mahalo. That would be a nightmare, just an utter nightmare. Wait till it starts heating up, too. That was the other thing. L.A. over the weekend, it got up to the the, the 90s. People were like, oh, that quarantine? <laughs> yeah, you can go fuck yourself. Beaches were packed. Oh, yeah. Packed, son. 
we'll see what it what it's going to be like out here. Wait till it starts heating up in these other places, dude. Uh, in New York, oof. If you haven't lived in a summer in New York, wait till it heats up. Mm-hmm. People will riot. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. We'll see. Other than that, we're back. We're up and at them. We're here with you every day, right around the nooner area. We've got some new cameras in here, so we were setting up those today. Uh, kind of dialing everything in, and uh, we had Sean Spicer on Drinking Bros. Y- you guys have a Drinking Broettes tonight. Yes, we do. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. So you'll get to see, you'll get to see the other half of uh, the famous duo known as the Wine Girls. <laughs> oh. You can go to Jesse at Jesse Wiseman on Instagram and just <laughs> hashtag Wine Girls. <laughs> Wine girls. I want to wine girls. 13 million views. You're famous, Jay. So famous. And Woo. everybody knows me. So. Yep. Quit your job. Yep. Quit Couple more pieces job. of bacon and I will be out. Um, I'll be very cavallari. Yeah, you, know you will. Moving to Nashville. Yep. Getting a gay beef fry. And some goats. Oh, what a <laughs> dream. Why would you, why would you get, you know, work know. it out. I don't know. Work it out, guys. We'll see what happens. We'll see what Jeez. happens. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon.